Okay, so I'm pretty happy with what I my orange now. I'm just very carefully identifying this shadow, which is going to connect my head to that headpiece. It's stronger on this edge. And the shape of it, the shape of it is very important because it connects the two things. You want to, we want this thing to actually look like it's setting on the, on the guy's head. The guy being me. Okay, that looks good. Um, maybe a little little bit more. Um, okay, now um, I'm going to change some of the, I'm going to identify some of the real intense colors that are here. Now, you know, there's always points in all of these paintings, and I've tried to talk about it, You know, I I I'm acting a little cavalier when I when I'm talking about painting this headpiece, and the painting process here is a little cavalier. And by that I mean I'm 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 doing it very quickly, and I'm not taking particular care with with uh, every little line. But in the back of my mind, I'm concentrating on what are the ones that are, what are the lines, where are the places where the color changes in such a way that it's making a difference uh, in the way that I see this picture. And so that's what I'm picking up. Like down in here, as I'm looking at it in the mirror, I'm seeing that there's some strong blues now that, that uh, are forming, not necessarily blues, there's a whole bunch of colors that are forming the actual shape of this headpiece. And so I'm looking at these very carefully. Right in here, uh, it's a, you know, it, the, the stripes squeeze together and you get a wrinkle. So now I'm thinking, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about those. Those are now becoming important to me. So I'm putting those in. They're much darker, and much stronger. And so I don't necessarily use the colors that I've mixed up. I'm going straight to the palette and making some stronger colors and I'm identifying what those, where those wrinkles are and I'm putting them in. And, what, and in the process, what's happening is this thing is taking on a life of its own. One of the great things about this kind of painting is it makes you look at stuff. It makes you really pay attention to whatever it is you're painting. And the simplest things take on a life of their own. And, and I think that that's probably what I enjoy most about painting pictures in a, real, in a realistic manner, is it makes me as a human being pay attention to my surroundings, you know. And, uh, you know, I don't know if we're here for much more than that, to appreciate uh, everything around us. So, even the silly little headpiece, all of a sudden takes on a, a, a whole new perspective. A whole new perspective, you know. This thing that I uh, throw in my head a lot of the times to go play golf uh, and keep the hair out of my eyes now is a subject of a piece of art. That idea in itself is pretty interesting. You 
you see now how this thing has begun to take a shape. I've just put on a few colors, I've accentuated a few highlights, and all of a sudden it's taking on a shape, you know? These highlights are getting stronger and stronger on the sides over here, I mean the shadows. It's turning this headpiece and it's wrapping it around my head. Looks pretty cool, huh? Okay, now I'm going. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to do the opposite. I've done some of the, some of the um, shadows with these creases on the side. Now I'm going to put some highlights, and the highlights are all towards the middle, obviously. And now again, I'm not, uh, I'm not concerned with actual colors and actual things. I'm just sort of getting an idea of lighting, and I'm, and I'm. I'm asking myself, what is it that about this particular thing that gives it the shape that it does? Well, it's obviously where the highlights fall, and where they, uh, where and where the shadows fall, because we've already defined the shape of it. But now, to to I to, to intensify that shape, we add these uh, these colors. Now I, I'm going to get a little bit uh, looser here. Okay. Now I, I've done that. I'm going to leave that for a minute. What I'm going to do is I want I want to accentuate this highlight on my forehead. It's brighter than any other highlight in this painting. So I'm going to go back to the palette, and I'm going to very quickly mix up a little, a little, uh, very, very light highlight. <coughs> I use some white, I use a little bit of flesh tint, a little bit of Naples, a little bit of raw sienna. And I've just made a very light highlight. I'm checking it here to see if it'll work. That's a little too light. I'm going to add a little bit more flesh tint to darken it up a little bit. I, I, I dipped in all these little colors and uh, some raw sienna and I'm just sort of darkening that the basic mixture. That's what I'm doing. Okay, and now I'm going to utilize that color and I'm just going to touch this highlight up again. So right on the top of my head here. Okay, let it run down a little bit farther down in here. You have to be careful that you don't get this, you don't do too much here, you don't make it look freakish. Okay, and now I'm going to accentuate this, this highlight right up above it, that little red, that little red area I was working on before, I'm going to strengthen that up a little bit. <coughs> 